Hi, I'm Valerie. And I'm Mark. And we're at my home. We explore smart home technology by installing and using it here in our own house. So we've been testing a lot of different cameras over the years here at At My Home, and today we're going to go through the WISE cameras and the WISE family of sensors that go with it. And I'm going to turn it over now to Mark, and he's going to go through the WISE cameras with you. All right, thank you. So today we're going to talk about the WISE products, the cameras and the sensors. And we're also going to talk about something called WISE services. So let's first talk about the cameras. So this is the WISE Cam V2, the 1080p, it has night vision. You can record locally to a nest micro SD card that you put in the bottom of the camera. You can also record to the cloud as well using the app. The second camera is the Wise Cam Pan. And this camera is interesting because it has all the same features as the smaller uh, V2. However, this one here, you can rotate it or you can tilt it up and down. And that's really handy if let's say you put this in a room that's extra wide and you, you can't get it all in with your small camera. With this camera, you can move the camera as you're watching and see what's happening in the room. So a nice camera. Installation is really easy. There's two parts of the installation. One is installing the camera physically and the second one is installing it through the application. So the camera comes with the base and you can move the base around, you can swivel. I can take this two-sided tape that they give you, put that on the wall, stick the metal disc on it, now this is sitting on the wall. I can then take the camera and it snaps on. So it's really a handy way to mount the camera. Now be sure to name the camera something that you can remember. So like living room camera or front room camera. Once you've named the camera, then you need to go in for each camera and say, what kind of motion settings do you want? And this is where you can determine when do I watch for motion? What kind of motion am I looking for? How sensitive is the motion? I can have all that set up. These cameras are great. They'll record motion. If, if someone comes into the room and you have motion detection on, the cameras will record that event and you'll have it captured off on either local storage or in your cloud storage. The other thing it does, it allows you to replay any videos you may have recorded. Same kind of thing. Now this case, when you're playing back an event that occurred, you can watch one video at a time from one afterwards. The app makes it very easy. They have an event section that, that sorts out the videos by which camera that you have. So it's very easy to find the clip that you're looking for. As you can see from the video footage here, the camera footage is really clear, easy to see. Well, we have four cameras in our house. I can actually not only watch one video, I can actually watch all four cameras at the same time. The sensors are really nice because I can detect if a door or window is opened or closed and I can also detect motion. Now, what's interesting here is that not only does it detect if the door opens or closes, but if you left the door open, and it will send you notifications to that effect. The motion detector will also not only detect that there's motion, but also when motion stops. So one of the features that the camera has is what's called time of day recording. So I can say, hey, I want to record from 10 at night till seven in the morning. On the sensors, however, you cannot. The sensors are just there all the time. It either tells you it's opened or closed or the motion happened or not. Now, in that case, it's going to go off and trigger the camera no matter what happens because they don't have a time of day setting. Installing it is fairly simple. They give you a little bridge here that you plug into the back of your cam one of your cameras. It's simple as this. You take it, you plug it in, and now these sensors are connected up to the camera. Now the sensors only talk to the cameras, right? So motion sensor, wind and door sensor, you can use them to trigger the camera to start recording. Now why services mean that they've added capabilities to the camera, and in the first instance that they've done is called person detect. Now person detect is a piece of software that goes inside your camera, and if it detects the motion, and the motion is a person, it will tell you that the motion is a person. And in the settings, you can say, I want to be detected for motion. I want the detection only to be a person, or I want to see any motion. So why is it important that it tells me that it's a person? Well, what you're going to find when you have motion detection in these cameras is you get a lot of detections of motion, like a cat or a dog or whatever else running through the house. And you don't really want to get that notification. Otherwise, you're going to get notifications all the time. So by having person detection, if you tell it only to tell you when you have a person detected, you're going to reduce the number of notifications that comes to your phone. 
One of the features that we think is important, of course, is Alexa. So let's take a look at what happens to Alexa. Here I am asking Alexa to show me the video on the various cameras inside our house. Alexa, watch living room cam. Okay. Now, as you can see, there's a little bit of a delay. So when the WISE camera sends the video to your Alexa, it actually first goes from the WISE camera up to the Amazon servers, and then the Amazon servers back down to the Echo Show. You see this lag between the time you ask and the time the video comes up. But once it comes up, it's a crystal clear picture that you get on the, on the Echo Show. You can also hear things that are happening from the camera. However, at least for today, you cannot talk from the Alexa to the camera. So you can only listen, you can't speak to the other person on the other end of the camera. Thanks for watching our video today about the entire line of WISE indoor cameras, sensors, and services for you to use in your home. We've included links on how to buy these cameras in the description below. If you like watching this video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel. And for more smart home stories, be sure to visit appmyhome.com. Thank you. Thank you.